Now to Whitfield County, where a high school student faces charges after police say he threatened to kill fellow students and teachers. News Channel 9's Jerry Askin joins us now today. He spoke with a parent of one of the teen's suspected victims. Jerry. That's right, Kim and Josh. Police arrested the Cahola High School um, student last Wednesday because he's underage. Deputies haven't identified him. And but one family whose child was an alleged target told me the school is taking this way too lightly. Well, I just wasn't going to say nothing might happen to him. David Crisp wants to know why his stepson's school staff never called him after deputies found the hit list at the school by a student. And Crisp tells me his stepson was on that list. On the 16th, when they arrested the kid, you think the school system would have notified all the parents and victims that was involved in that. But he says that never happened. He and his wife got this letter from the sheriff's office on the 24th, but even that was eight days later. We did intercept a journal notebook, uh, and there was a phrase there written in German, and when we translated it, it did basically mean uh, people to kill. The incident report says the students made threats to bring a gun to school and that he told investigators he was angry and people were mistreating him. The school's resource officer found the hit list with names of 12 people. Crisp says he wants the school system to take this seriously. It's like things are getting overlooked and ignored. Today, a Whitfield County School Board spokesperson told us the school staff responded immediately to evidence that a juvenile student may have threatened the safety of others. Details about student discipline are student records protected and cannot be released by the school system. Crisp says he wants the school board to just make parents aware in situations like this. The kid couldn't be here today. You know, a week later you find out he may not have been there. You know, I could have been looking at his grave or anything else, you know. And for now, that, um, that suspect remains in juvenile custody. He's due in court next Thursday.